It is a steep one here. It uh, goes straight up. You can kind of just make a pocket rocket up there. Good morning, we just left our room. We're not leaving it for good though. We're just heading over to the office where we can catch the shuttle going to the Kinsman Notch parking lot. And we're gonna continue our hike there. We're just doing like a 16, little over 16 mile slack pack. It's still pretty heavy with all the water. I think the biggest challenge for me is somehow figuring out how to keep my tripod and water bottles strapped in. It's all kind of shaking because there's not much in the pack. Uh, I'll have to figure that out. But today, yeah, it's like 60 miles, but it's a lot of elevation change. In fact, the first half mile is 1,300 feet up. Uh, well, not 1,300 feet per mile. So it's like 700 feet for the first half mile. It's gonna be a doozy. So come along. Here we are, Beaver Brook Trail, White Mountain National Forest. This is where we came out yesterday and just across the street. This is where we go back on. Lots of cars on this road. And here we go. Big day. Straight into the bushes. <laughs> wow. It's thick. Just as we knew, pretty much as soon as we started, it was steep. And it kind of leveled out for a little bit. Leveling meaning still steep, but not extremely steep. And now we're hitting the extremely steep section again. Well, it looks like there's like a ridge area up right ahead. Um, and then we head north, I think, because to the right, there's nothing. To the left, there's more, so I think we're going north. And then straight up to Kinsman's. Actually, Wolf Mountain is first. We started going down. We didn't hit a peak or anything yet, but the other side of the ridge, I guess, from the road, it just suddenly started getting way mossier and more of these trees trying to hold on for dear life on top of these rocks. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at all that green. The moss just blends in roots and rocks. Just like a sheet of green everywhere. And we have a steep down here. And then I think we just have a bunch of up and downs before we go up to Wolf Mountain. Look at all the green. Tina probably already saw these on the way by. Moose poop. Run right next to the trail. Not too big. Not to be a pile. But moose poop. Keep an eye out, folks. The trail, however, goes like this, and goes up and up, and who knows what's after that. Maybe it goes up, maybe it goes down. Not too bad. Up and downs here. This is the summit of Mount Wolf. It's a little overgrown, but you can still see Franconia Ridge. We're gonna have to do that tomorrow with full pack and several days of food, so it's gonna be whopper it's gonna be a long day uh fortunately that's always <laughs> but actually that's what we want to see so that's pretty cool but everything else is kind of growing in here let's head down We took a quick break at Eliza Brooks Shelter and uh, now it's all up. I think it's about 3,000 feet up. Um, only about 800 feet per mile. That's what's funny is I was looking at it and I was like, oh, only 800 feet per mile up, no problem. I mean, two weeks ago, if I saw that, I'd been freaked out, but now it's like, well, as long as it's not over 1,000 or 1,300 feet per mile, 800's easy. Things change so quickly on this trail. <sighs> My shoes were new for about one day. Over here, I'll show you. I was gonna step right there, right there, but my foot slid right into there. So now my foot is black. Black as can be. This is what it's supposed to look like. And this is what it looks like now. Um, Oddly enough, my feet don't feel wet. I think the, the outside of my shoe just covered. Hopefully it kind of dries and cracks off throughout the day, but 
That was a doozy. That was a bad one. Bad step. I actually slipped because I was busy looking at this tree. Thinking, okay, I have to stay off to the side. But, uh, that got me. Whew. Pretty little fall. And a nice little pool, actually. Not too many of these. Like, deep enough where you could submerge your whole body, but... This one's a nice one. Nice one. And the trail just heads up the side. I think we're going to see more of this waterfall for quite a while. We just popped out in this open area. There's a bog way over there. We didn't see any moose, so we'll continue on, but it's pretty amazing. The big rock walls on one side. And then, I'm guessing Kinsman is one of these, or both of these, <laughs> but maybe on the right there. Still got a while to go up. It is a steep one here. It uh, goes straight up. You can kind of just make a pocket rocket up there. Straight up. I'd say it's more up than across right now. Whew. Lots of rocks. You're never done with the rocks, everyone. <laughs> if you're in Pennsylvania, you're never done with the rocks. There's more steep stuff right here. Looks like I'm gonna use my hands here. And then it's a bunch of steps. It's an open sky up there. Shall I be optimistic? Getting higher and higher. Beautiful day. We're not even to the top yet and uh, we are getting some amazing views all the way down. See some lakes down there and mountains are beautiful except the uh, bare areas where they put in ski slopes. There's Lincoln straight in the middle there. And look at all the mountains around us. Crazy number of mountains, just ridges everywhere. So beautiful. It looks like an open area. There's a Karen and there's a Tina. So it means we're not at the peak yet. <laughs> it means we're just somewhere high up and with amazing views. We are not at the peak yet. I guess it's that one over there. But uh, huge open views from here. You work hard for this view. This, I believe, is South Kinsman. I think there's another hiker behind the cairn. But... We're at the top. It's, oh, that one's South Peak. We're not at the top yet? Not yet. Oh my gosh, I keep thinking we're at the top. The views are so good. Wow, we got a steep mountain right there. I hope we're not going up there. Okay, here we are at South Kinsman Summit. Um, The other spot with the giant cairn had much better views. This is, uh, yeah, if I raise the GoPro, got okay views. Nice, you can look all around. Oh yeah. There seems to be a big shelter or something straight ahead. Like uh maybe a hut there. It's in the top of the mountain though. That's an interesting climb. It's just uh flat rocks here. It looks like there's some ridges on the right. Let's see how we go with one trekking pole. No, I'm gonna need more than one trekking pole. I'm gonna have to put this away. We're at the summit of North Kinsman, but you gotta go down this little climb here to get to a viewpoint. Here goes Pocket Rocket managing. No problem. No grunts. No grunts. Is that a laugh or a grunt? Laugh. Laugh. Could have been a grunt. But uh, I'm gonna go up there now and check out this viewpoint. Been heading downhill pretty steadily, down mountain I guess, and then this 
This is the first hut that uh, we've seen actually. Ah, oh, they got a thing full of propane tanks right there. But pretty well, so this is the hut. Drinking water. I was waiting for that. Lots of people in there. This is Lonesome Lake Hut. Oh, it's running up my arm. It's nice to have that. <laughs> we are at Lonesome Lake. Beautiful day. And the hut is right behind me up hill, so all these people, most of these people are probably staying there. I am. Yeah, it's high. I'm not that flexible anymore. Why well, you want to see how I go over? Yeah. It's dangerous. These two notches here. Huh. Better than me. We made it to our pickup point to go back to uh, the Mount Liberty Inn. The uh, we're just off a highway, but there's no pulling over up on the highway. There's no off-ramp anywhere. There's no shoulder at all. So he said, get off trail, walk down the highway, and get on the off-ramp. And on the off-ramp, it's legal for him to pull over. Whereas on the highway, it's not. So we're just here. Five or six more minutes, we should be here. And then we jump in real quickly, get to our rooms, eat and shower, and relax until tomorrow morning. <laughs> 